Let's uh, move on to the next clip. And what I'm looking at here is actually just uh, is just why you should balance your clips out beforehand. So you probably wouldn't use film wash just to bypass the uh, the regular act of uh, of doing the primary in color correction. So if I just let's come to our extras here, uh, we'll just put a quick bloom highlights. So you can see that's just that's just blooming up the highlights a little bit there, but it's not made our shot any less underexposed or uh, or sort of sorted out that color cast. So that sort of stuff we would definitely do in the primary in room before we did our color effects here. So we wanted to uh, get rid of that stuff. We'd we'd still come into the into the primary in here uh, and probably push this slightly over here there we go and uh, sort our gain and our gamma out as, as we want to take the lift down slightly there we go to give it a bit more contrast so you can see now that as we go into uh, to use the So as we go in to use that uh, that highlight blooming, there we go. It just comes comes back in for us. Cool, very nice. Cool, very nice. So let's let's take a look at our our last clip here. So we've got about forty different fully customizable uh, uh, choices here as part of the the film wash color effects for Apple Color Volume Three. And all of these are completely unique uh, looks that that uh, that you can use uh, just to give yourself something a, a bit a bit extra and a bit different. So we take a look at the black and white stuff here. Now, as part of Film Wash Color Effects for Apple Color Volume Two, there was a whole section dedicated to um, different styles of of black and white. So instead of replicating that same idea for Volume Three, what we've done instead is go for some slightly different. Uh, harder, harder sorts of looks. So we've got our, our sort of cool split tone here. Um, again, most of the work is done for you here. If you if you don't fancy the colours that we've chosen, then come in, turn the uh, the hue off here, and you can just rotate around the hue there. If you don't fancy going in and playing around with any of the other effects, just a very simple way, just coming in. And playing with the hue shift there. Uh, we've also got this uh, golden litho, which is again quite a a, a definite, definitive look. Which is uh, I really actually really like that. Uh, got pinhole camera, kind of a fun extreme one there, and some sort of vintage sepia, vintage black and white stuff as well. Very very nice. Um, but also. In the uh, the three primary colors, in red, green, and blue, we've got one that's called graphic red as well. So, oh, graphic green and graphic blue. It's a really, really interesting, highly stylized look. Um, I really like this one. Let's crank it up with a bit of grain, maybe. Really go to town on the grain. Really quickly, we've got a very strong, edgy look there. But as I said before, there are about 40 of these uh, these different filters for you uh, included, all fully customizable, and all of them have got this, this really useful uh, bottom right-hand corner where you can dial back the effect if you want to, just using the, uh, the blend node. Ooh, just to 0.5. Actually, the graphic ones probably won't react all that well to this. 
but we've got the vignette with the exposure and the blur in there all turned on and off. So you don't have to worry about adding any, any other sort of um, nodes into your tree and the film grain is just there. So I hope that's given you a good idea and a taster of what you can actually achieve with the Film Wash for Color Volume 3 filter set. If you've got any more questions, then feel free to come over to www.curiousturtle.com and send us over an email and we'll get those questions answered straight away. All right. Thanks a lot. My name is Ben Brownlee and I hope to see you soon.